In today's video, I'm showing you my fridge organization that I use in my apartment and a step-by-step -step guide or instructions on how I went through and organized my own fridge. I'm telling you, it is so nice to have your fridge organized and just looking a lot prettier. I also have my fridge organization labels that I use available for you to use for free and print out at your own home. I'm Sophia Lee. I'm a recent college graduate who is obsessed with turning her first apartment into a home. I'm taking you along with me and showing you my best decorating ideas, organization tips, and cleaning hacks so that you can make your apartment look Pinterest perfect while sticking to a budget. I'm here to help you turn your apartment into a place you will love. Okay, so I have dreamed about an organized fridge and it was one of the most <laughs> exciting or one of the things that excited me most about organizing in my apartment but it can be really expensive so i wanted to do this obviously for as inexpensive as possible and i was able to organize my entire fridge for under 75 dollars which if you have looked into fridge organization products at all that is a really good deal it's usually a lot more expensive so i'm showing you exactly how i did it and how you can do it in your own home for as inexpensive as possible. The first thing I did for my fridge organization was I looked and you're gonna be able to see why well, this is the first thing I did a few days ago so I'm in the process of organizing my fridge right now but a few days ago I looked at my fridge and everything in it and then I took a picture of it and I did this because I want to see everything that I have going on in here because this is what I use every single day and I didn't do anything different this is literally just how my fridge looked so I took that picture of my fridge and brought it into Instagram stories and I didn't actually upload it to stories but that way I could write font over these different sections and I could be able to see like what is in my fridge and then what do like the different categories I have and then place the words on top for where I want the different bins and stuff to be. You could also do that in Canva too if you just take a picture of your fridge and then bring it into Canva. That way I just knew all the different categories and it was really easy for me when I was going to order the products. Step number two is to measure your fridge and organize products. So once I had that picture done and I could see all the different categories that I wanted, I brought a tape measure in here and I started organizing the length of, or yeah, the length of my fridge, the height of my fridge, the width of my fridge. You're gonna wanna know these for all of the containers that you're gonna buy. And then I wrote them down in my phone and I went to Marshall's to actually get the products. So here's the deal on the best places to get fridge organization products for cheap. I originally wanted to go to Container Store because who doesn't want to go to Container Store? But Container Store, as beautiful as it is, it is really expensive. And Marshall's, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, they have a lot of the same exact products for half the price. So I rated Marshall's organization section and I got so many good things. I spent like $60 out of the 75 just at Marshall's and I just needed two more bins and I got those from Amazon. So I highly recommend that you check out Marshall's or Amazon for products. Target, don't go to Target either. I love Target to death. You guys know that if you watch my videos, they are just as expensive as Container Store. So definitely Marshall's or Amazon for products. The next thing I did was print out the fridge labels and I really wanted fridge labels because one, I think that helps people stay really organized and two, it just looks a lot better. So I wanted everything basically done um, before I actually took out the food, which is why I did the labels before I've actually organized my fridge. And I have these labels and I have a more generic. I try to do as generic as possible, but I have them on my website. The link is in the bio and you can download them for free. And But you do have to get these exact labels. So these all have them linked too, so you know exactly the ones to get. But these are the Avery um, Glossy Clear Shipping Labels and it's number 6522. I just bought these from Amazon. They came in one day and I wanted these ones. Well, one, I went to Home Target and Office Depot to see if they had them in person. They didn't, which is why I ordered them. But I wanted to get clear and then um, I wanted to make them cute. Obviously, I don't know. I want to make everything cute. So for me, I just did 
for my categories, drinks, condiments, leftovers, need for recipes, you gotta eat eggs, fruit, I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> But that is how I made the labels. If you want to make your own labels, I know that you can do you can do these buy this exact product and use it in like Word or even they have an online um, system too. That way you can customize it to exactly what you want. Step number four is to clean out your fridge. So if you're really on top of your game, then you will put your food into a cooler. I'm not on top of my game, so I'm just gonna bring out my food and be really fast about this so that my food doesn't go bad in the process. Um, and then I'm just gonna wipe everything down with a microfiber cloth to get all the crumbs and stuff out. put all of the bins in your fridge and then I'm gonna put the labels on I just want to get all the bins in the fridge just to make sure that everything actually fits before I take off like I don't know just in case I need to return anything so that's what we're gonna do is put all the bins in the fridge So when I was doing my measurements, I didn't consider this right here. So like I was supposed to have another bin that would fit right here and you can't because of this back piece in the fridge that holds the fridge up. So um, it's not going exactly as I planned, but we're going to have to make it work. I just hope that my sections work now because I was supposed to be able to fit two more of these in here and obviously that's not happening so just take into account the weird things that your fridge has because I sure did not take that into an account so like I said before I just printed these off on my printer at home and what you do is you literally just <laughs> take it off and then I place it on here just like that I want to make sure that's kind of even with the other one um, and then this has like a raised edge on the side so then I just give it a good rub down like that and then that's all you do now that we have the labels on and the containers in the fridge it's time to restock and honestly I'm like really happy with how all of these labels look it looks better than I thought so now I'm gonna refill up the fridge and put all my food back and hope that everything actually fits exactly how I organize my fridge I hope you learned some fridge organization tips from that and honestly the one the biggest thing that I well actually there's two things I can recommend you one go to Marshall's or home goods or TJ Maxx or whatever to get your stuff you'll get it so much cheaper there and two make sure when you're measuring your fridge that you take in con into consideration these little leverage like thing I don't know what they're even called but they got in a major way of my original plan so I kind of had to reorganize things but I really like how it turns out and like I said I hope it was super helpful for you. For more organization, apartment decorating, and cleaning hacks and tips make sure to follow me on Instagram at bysophialee and subscribe to my channel.